hours from now, the aircraft from here will join us from around the world. So you will once again be watching the largest aerial attack in the history of mankind. Man oh, wrong speech, I'm sorry. That is embarrassing. Uh, I have a record now, don't worry. Um, Alright, first I just want to apologize in advance. This speech actually is, it's, uh, it's a little long. Um, I was told that a good best man speech is five minutes or less, and when I rehearsed this, it went to five minutes and five seconds. Um, so I, I cut out the part where I talk about all the girls that Jerry's been with before. <laughs> I thought, you know, five minutes and two seconds isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jared really is a, a great guy. I, I first met him uh, about 28 years ago, and, uh, and uh, we quickly became brothers. <laughs> and uh, we've really been close ever since. Um, the only time I, I don't remember us being close is when I was too young to form new memories, which is kind of crazy for me to think about that there were years that I lived with Jared and saw him every day and didn't have any great memories to show for it. <laughs> but enough about Erica's future. <laughs> Step back in time with me, if you will, to the night when Jared and Erica first met. Yes. Now, I don't know what they told all of you, but Jared and Erica have met at a bar, and not just any bar, a bar called The Kill. That's, that's the type of place it is. It's, uh, it's really the, the trendiest bar. <laughs> Possibly in all of So, here's the best way to think about it for those of you who haven't been there. Uh, do you guys remember the Magic School Bus? It was, you know, that kind of, it was a book and a TV show, and it was, if they wanted to show kids how a human heart works, the, the bus would shrink down and go inside a heart, and they'd show, oh, look at the valve and all that stuff. Well, if there was ever, like, a college edition where they wanted to show kids what a rupee was, <laughs> Jumped down and went inside the ruby. The inside of the pill would look like the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jared and were there handing out Bibles, obviously. Uh, and uh, Jared was there um, with uh, our, our friend Alyssa, who is here. I'm not sure if I want to identify her because then people will know she went to the <laughs> And she's a lady, so you know, she's her. Alyssa, if you want to be recognized, raise your hand. Yeah. You know that? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right she's up there. Uh, so Jared was with Alyssa, and they were playing something called the pickup line game, and that is where. One of them would um, pick someone else out in the bar, and that person would have to go use a pickup line to start a conversation. And so Alyssa sees Erica across the bar and says, you should go use a pickup line on her. Now, obviously, this story has a happy ending, because here we are. But there is a tragic part to this story. <laughs> and that is that, for those of you that don't know, handing out Bibles really kind of wreaks havoc on your short-term memory. And no one really knows exactly which pickup line Jared used. Luckily, being a brother, I have some ideas <laughs> to start a conversation with a girl. So, let me know if this jogs your memory at all, guys. Uh, pick up line number one. Hey, girl, ever seen a guy do Pilates? <laughs> pick up line number two. Hey, uh, I ran this whole 5K, you know. <laughs> I'll run myself. <laughs> and uh, lastly, uh, they call me Miriam Webster because I got so much definition. <laughs> <laughs> Fun game to play at your table. I have actually heard Jared say two of those three lines there. <laughs> so I'm going to pick out which one is the uh, one I made up, and if you get it right, I'll let you get me a drink. <laughs> but, um,. Despite all of that, here we are, and obviously this is an important day to both of you. I mean, Erica, you showed up on time, so that's <laughs> it.
And Jared, that's got to be like 60 years worth of clothing budget you're wearing right now. <laughs> I mean, unless Young Warehouse sponsored a tuxedo 5K and we don't know him. <laughs> I'm very excited. So unlike some people, I remember the time I met Erica very clearly. Um, I remember I liked her instantly. Um, she was so easy to talk to. I noticed that she, and she's so good at finding something that you can talk with, talk um, to her about, and uh, just these things you can laugh about. She's just, you know, I, I very quickly knew that Jared had found a keeper, but I was a little confused. Um, she told me that she was a nurse on a psych floor in a hospital, and I thought this sweet girl spends her entire day with people that can't really dress themselves and mumble a lot when they speak. And now she wants to take care. <laughs> Talking about bringing your work home with you, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, despite all, all, all the joke, all joking aside, um, I, yeah, no, I, I love both of you to death. Erica, we've said this to each other, and I'll say it in front of everyone now. I consider today just a formality. I've thought of you as a sister for years now. I'm so happy that Jared found you. And Jared, um, I, I try not to ever lose sight of the fact that not everyone has someone like you in their life. Uh, someone who's both a brother and a best friend and someone I can always go to, who's always there for me, who's always accepting me for who I am. It's just a, a great guy. You're really an amazing person. You found an equally amazing person. And I'm so happy for both of you. I love you so much. Congratulations.